So we've gone through the procedure of setting up different ways of preparing dilutions on standards. And clearly here we tried a series of options for doing a 1 in 10, a 1 in 50, and a 1 in 100 dilution. Now it is possible for us to actually use a save function to store the programs that we've been running uh, into either a favorites or custom mode. The interesting thing here is in custom mode we're, in, we're able to um, put some other detail relative to the program which includes some text information to um, provide a standard workflow for the technician. So by saving it into custom programs it then stores it into a function which actually allows us to give a, a, a name to the, to the program um, and then we can actually then recover that later in our custom programs. So I'm going to go back into accepting this and you'll see there will be a means of actually giving this a name. Okay, so we're going to cancel this and I'll actually do, as I say, one I've prepared earlier. Um, I've gone back um, from our wizards onto our main menu. We have custom methods. In custom methods here, we can see that what we're looking at is this was a standard set for the TriCAD reference material standard. So we've selected that program and I can now go into the run mode for this particular program and it will actually then uh, begin the standard set. So we're going to start with, in this instance, um, the uh, dilution showing a 1 in 100 dilution. Um, its first step is to take the 9,900 uh, 9, microliters and you can see the first step shows fill diluent and aspirate air gap. So we'll take that off site and I can initiate from using the actuator button here and you'll see the program starts aspirates our diluent and then picks up our air gap. The air gap actually is picked up and then it actually is prompted to give an ID for the standard that we're going to use. So the ID of this standard is QWERTY and we're saving that. And it's ready now for us to aspirate the 100 microliters. It's aspirating 100 microliters of the QWERTY standard. So I'm going to pick up that actually from our standard set here. You can see the air gap, pick up again, small air gap, I can wipe the tip. And now dispensing, I've produced the first standard, which is my 1 in 100 dilution. And then the program will automatically go into the next step when depressing the button. You can see it's going to aspirate 9,800 microliters. Air gaps picked up. Aspirate 200 microliters standard. Pick up air gap. Wipe tip. And dispense. And equally produced another 10 mils of standard at a 1 in 50 dilution. And now next step is picking up 9,000 microliters of diluent and then an air gap and now asking me to pick up 1,000 microliters of the standard. I pick up air gap, wipe the tip and dispense. So you can see very quickly we prepared three standards from 1 in 100, 1 in 50 and 1 in 10 dilution of a reference material to produce a standard set. This gives us high reproducibility, very high accuracy and obviously it's taken us with a standardised workflow because it's told the operator what step he should be taking at what time, ensuring consistency in our standards preparation.